Hey, good morning, how do you do? We got something special for you. It's just for fun, it's just for kids. All right, here we go. Number six. There's a pretty good chance you haven't tried fried bologna casserole. It was popular during the Great Depression because bologna was readily available and pretty cheap. Uh, so here's what you need to make it this weekend uh, or for Mother's Day, which is right around the corner. You're going to need some bologna, of course. Then you're going to want to get some cheddar cheese, uh, some beans, uh, canned chili, onions, uh, garlic and peppers. You need me to slow down, Larry, so you can write this. <laughs> right. You lost me a bologna. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now, if you like, you can add a little bacon if you want to get wild and crazy. But uh, you can find the recipe online. Just use that Google thing. It's a salty, savory plate of deliciousness. Mm. Did anyone ever eat fried bologna yeah, sandwiches? Uh, oh, they're delightful. Yeah, it's yeah. good. Fried minced ham. Yeah, fried yeah, bologna's you good. That all oh, yeah. Yeah. Onions. Yeah, yeah. don't knock it. Number five, opposites attract, but if you want a long-lasting relationship, you and your partner should have some key shared values. A new study says you and your partner should share the same political and religious beliefs. You should have similar IQs and education levels. You should have the same attitudes towards substances like alcohol or smoking. Sure. Relationship scientists say these are the deal breakers. Boy. Mm. So don't marry someone smarter than you or don't marry someone well, dumber than you? Well, I think you want to marry someone smarter than you. I mean, the Wonderlick twins here, thank yeah. goodness we hooked yeah. up with someone who's got some brains because it's... Hey, speak for yourself here. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, I don't mind in some ways, but... I, I, hey, apologies. I'm clearly... Apologies. Uh, yeah. Sheesh. Yeah. But Kirsten is a brilliant woman. Well, she's not that brilliant. She married me. <laughs> I was like, oh, she's so smart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, ask her. She'd say she's not. All right, number four. Finally, a vacation that combines both glamping and hiking. For $5,500, you can stay at MT. Oh, oh wait a minute. Keep oh, going. I thought it was... Yeah, you can stay at MT as well. Anyhow, back to the Wonderlick thing. <laughs> you can stay at Mount Everest Base Camp. Excuse me. I didn't know. Yeah, yeah, I thought it was a uh, short a What did you think MT stood for? I don't know. Yeah. It's the six at six. It could be anything. <laughs> You stay in a luxury tent with a queen-size bed, Persian rugs, a charging outlet for your phones or other devices, and you'll have access to unlimited cappuccinos, food cooked by professional chefs, an electric blanket to keep you warm all night, and you'll also take part in a climbing clinic. Oh, a clinic. How cute. You can learn how to hike, climb, and rappel down the side uh, of a cliff yeah. with experts guiding you every step of the way. You won't climb Mount Everest, but you will climb a much smaller mountain that promises spectacular views of Everest. Uh -huh. Could you imagine the poor Sherpa that's got to deal with these jackasses oh. for a week? <laughs> oh, yeah. Lord. Uh, number three, time for another, another example of the toys that didn't kill us made us stronger, like the Snack Time Cabbage Patch Kid Dolls from 1996. They were cute, they were cuddly, and they were hungry. You'd feed them little snacks and they would gobble them up with their mechanical mouths. Their jaws had tiny little motors inside, and here's where the problems came in. The dolls couldn't tell between snacks and children's hair <laughs> or other things like fingers. Oh. Uh, they were recalled after several injuries were reported, oh. but according to Mattel, less than 2% of the dolls were returned. There you go. So they're still out there lurking <laughs> and hungry <laughs> in somebody's basement. Yeah. Yeah. So cute, though. Yeah, they are. Mm. All right, number two, one word, pleats. They're a BDRM. That's a big deal right now. Uh, uh, and I'm living for the long pleated maxi skirts with a cozy cardigan and some sneakers. It's giving hipster vibes meets granny vibes. And I'm here for all of it. And don't even get me started on the uh, pleated statement pants. Of course, this look isn't for everyone. Some people despise pleats. I get that, so I won't try to win you over. I will say though, if it's been a while, just give pleats a try. You might like what you see. I got lots of uh, looks oh, yeah. on my blog, Paulie's Pleats. That's pleats with three uppercase T's at the end. And we're going live tonight at 721 Northern Time. So, oh, I thought uh, it was this morning at 721. Is it? No, it's tonight, yeah. I was going to do it this morning, but I'm, I'm not focused enough. <laughs>
I think, I think there's complications because when you wash them, then you gotta iron them, iron them mm. in, and you gotta keep them all straight. So it's a little bit more work than what you're used and to. And they can add volume where you they don't can, want volume. Yeah, for you hefty yeah. folks, yeah. be it's, careful. It's, you know. Number one, here's one to think about. How old is too old to trick or treat? Is there an age limit or is it the time of year when everyone gets to be a kid? Okay. Let's discuss. Hmm. I think as long as you're dressed up. You think uh, that's it? Yeah, what do I care if I'm giving away a piece of candy? Yeah, yeah you're right. Who are we to judge? Huh. It did get to the point, though, where the high school kids were coming to the door with no costume. Yeah. I, think, I, mean, yeah. I think they were asking, like, adults. Oh. Like Sarah Ginger at parties. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> but that's trick. She's not trick-or-treating. She's having a costume party. Oh, is that party. it? Was it yes. too old for trick-or-treating? Yes. I think yeah. yes, there should be a mandate that if you're going to go, you have to put in the effort to yes. dress yes. just dressing up. And not anything half-assed. It's got to be a full. Listen, I don't care. Whatever gets rid of that candy and stops kids from knocking <laughs> on my door yeah. soon enough is good for me. Yeah. All Have right. fun, kids. Yes. That's a six at six.